V, one of my missing vehicles could be near your current position. Got it. What's up? Got a few more words about the porcelain cunt? Fuck! <laughs> Shit. Get ready. Fuck. Ah, uh, Johnny. You ain't dying yet. I got you. Johnny. That smells the sea breeze. Get up. Pacific's beautiful this time of day. Almost flatlined by that attack. Almost. We in uh, Pacifica? What's this building? Old hotel, the Pistis Sophia. We're her sole guests right now. Wanted to show you something. Come on. Saw the pseudo endotrizing in your hand. Can't very well function in this body without it, right? Got this strange impression your comatose self wanted to get rid of me. Actually put up a good fight. <laughs> Did you want to pop the pill? Cooler Chrome. If I'd wanted full control, I'd have taken it already. Lots earlier. Okay. I believe you. Thanks. Climb through the window. Can manage that, I think. Uh. You wanted to know why I brought you here. There's a hidey hole where I'm standing. Open it. Empty it. Yours. They were. Belong to you now. Why are you giving me these? Imagine we're deployed together, fighting in a war, side by side. Would you take a bullet for me? I would. Yeah. Tags belong to a man who sacrificed his life for mine in Mexico. Been thinking about our predicament. Want to be clear. I will do you no wrong. When the time comes, it'll be my life for yours. I'll agree to get white. Tags are proof of my promise. I... I do the same for you. Yeah. Thanks. You seriously considering Hanako's offer? Monaco and I want the same thing. Huh. Yeah. Listen, you'll do what you think's right. You're in charge here. Just got one request. Well? Adam Smasher. Fucker who got the better of me. Whatever happens to me, I want him zero, gone, tossed into the wind as mulch. Right. Understood. And I want Rogue to be there with you. It's important to me, and it's just as important for her. So, I gotta tell Rogue... everything? Think I'd better do that. 
Handle it personally. You'll drop the pills from Misty, and I'll steer the ship for a bit. I'm not at all excited about this plan. Realize that, right? Just gonna have a quick chat with Rogue about Smasher. Then I'm out, I promise. Need to know exactly what you plan to do. I'll tell Rogue the truth, see if she's willing to help. Hey, Satan kicked me out of hell, thought I'd swing by. All I gotta do is mention Smasher, serve him up on a platter. Muse over the old days, easy. Fine, I'll do this, for you. Appreciate it, thanks. Take me to the afterlife. Promise, you won't regret this. Feeling better. I should get going. Still feel a sharp something near your heart. Doubt that's ever going away. <sighs> the hotel pissed to Sophia. That right? Mm-hmm. Good place to die. Just not today.
Welcome back. So, ready? The road should be here anything? any minute. How's it going? Ready for the next race? Oh, she's running like a dream. Full tank, tuned up, body polished to a sheen. Never did more ready. I was asking about you, Claire, not your beast. Yeah, I meant me. Ready? Rogue should be here any minute. Hey, Claire. Next race. You ready? It'll be a tough one. Off-road, lots of lead flying. We'll take Beast. I want to try her out in the field. Nova. FYI, I'm already here. Perfect. Join you in a sec. Sounds good. See ya. Where? I don't know. Maybe. Be around those parts soon. Oh. How much you want me to bring? Hey, V. Good to see you again. Got another race to run, huh? Second of four, I hope. Ready to go off-road? Think this one will be tough? Badlands, so no fucking around. Anything goes in this race. So you'll have your hands full. You too. One mistake and we'll be a four-ton tumbleweed. <laughs> I can do this. Okay, I'm just gonna melt under that sun, so... I'm gonna wait in the car. Sure. Guys, remember! Smash the 
I really thought you'd stand me up again. I thought Wooly would have to ride shotgun. Ladies and gentlemen, get Bully your pants is a on, white right, strap in, and fire he is, up your he is. But he's talking. Thirty Always. seconds and Come counting. On. His mouth never. You hear me? Ignore him. Luigi tries to get people's heads. Hey, so you. next time I actually don't make yeah. it, What's there's up? duct tape in the trunk. Just wanted to wish Just you saying. luck. Thanks. Tight, Claire. Got it.
like, chance of the final, well? Better believe it. Drive up to the finish line. Why, no way the missus will believe I bet on the winning horse. Your last driver is better than I am? He was. A good husband. An amazing wheelman. So you're racing for him. He adored this shit. Had a keen mind for machines, unmatched. He could talk to him. When he got behind the wheel, it was like he fused with it. But just him. No implants. What do you say we win this for him? I'm counting on you. You want to lift to my garage? Sure, thanks. Let's go. Hi there, V. Take care. Talk soon, V. Still 
churning under that skull? Give me another. You got it. on the menu? Information. Cassius Ryder. He's still breathing. Tattoo guy? I haven't seen him in a good long while. Gonna have to check up on him yourself. Works in Watson, down on Pershing. So what'll it be? Billy Goat or the other one? Billy Goat. More my style. He's gonna love it. <laughs> sure he will. Jeremiah Grayson. I heard he's an operator for Smasher. But you didn't hear that from me. Hey, who are you again? Yeah. Could say we had something in common. <laughs> Ruby Collins. Sloppy second for Grayson. After I banged her. Drink slinger. I got something better. Hey, you Ruby. What? You've heard about me? Let's get out of here. Tell you what I heard. Then you'll show me if I'm right. Just got a little biz to take care of first. She ain't going anywhere with you. She's on that clock, got it? Fuck, I missed this. Be waiting outside. You waiting for me? Let's go back to my place. Take the long way. Look good on you. Got a light?
Ruby. Maybe I'll call. I'll call. Ruby, focus. I need to talk to Grayson. City. V. Ugh. Ugh. Spit blood first thing every morning. Ugh. Talk about something else, please. Sure. First time you walked up, since there was something familiar about you. Blah blah. Johnny told you. Did we, uh... You know. No. Gonk was too drunk. He called me early morning. Of course, I thought it was you. And I thought, cute kid. Too bad he's gone completely whacked. Came to see for yourself, huh? Morbid curiosity? Mm-hmm. And I found Johnny Silverhand. Smasher. He tell you about him? Yes. Didn't know he'd come back to NC. Johnny found some way to get at him. Wait. Grayson. Jeremiah Grayson. Works for Smasher. Johnny got a tip off some stripper, don't ask me how. Ebonike. Just that. Still, let me see what I can do. We're gonna get that son of a bitch. Can I help at all? In your state? <laughs> You're useless. Almost. I'll buzz you when I learn something. Okay. Unbelievable that bastard's somewhere in your head. Yeah, well, life ain't fair. Yeah, you sure picked the right moment to bolt out of my body. Ought to be happy I left it all. Oh, I am. Look at me. Spewing joy in rainbows. Like a fucking ray of sunshine. Well, we moving? this place okay. place where you can puke all over the carpet no problem beggar not chooser
need to talk? I mean no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. Uh-huh. See you soon. Yes? I want to see what you What's got up? in stock. Only the baddest firearms in all the bad lands. Isn't that why you're back? You're here. What is he doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right- You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me, no point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this! A chance at what? Right? Wow. Seems a lot changed while I was away. No. Nothing has changed at all. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it! Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green! I thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us, and we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. They want to pedal it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Is this basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this Biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. And drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Remember a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do, yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope, different that. Rescue mission, someone from the family. Now, you're out to plain trick them. 
If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. And you plan to grab the Basilisk how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else? We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the Basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Nice job, Sunshine. Mm-hmm. Damn sure. Okay. I'm in. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you. But are you sure you didn't leave any crap? Militech won't notice a thing. Are you trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even asked. Stop at the king, you get no much, get no much, see my dumb thing, speak my name. You move like AI, I move like AI. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Song has no wish to see us there anyway. It's better to make a good second impression on the biotechnic suit. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. The Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Paul is. He posted sentries all around the camp. How's that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. You don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though, uh... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would've liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that. like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the Basilisk go on its way? Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay, the Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how, exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. 
Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. It is then. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. I've always been fond of trains. And the stations where so many tracks converge. <laughs> Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. What are we looking for? What cars? What cars? All cars, holes and holes and columns. Would you help me look? Sure thing. Nada. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? <sighs> Here goes nothing. that could. V, I wanted to speak with you. Missed you. Pretty bad. Oh, well, this means... Oh, wait, just, just wait. This is not how we usually talk. Don't have to if you don't want to. No, it's not that. I also wish to talk about it, just not so openly. My plan was to tiptoe around, test the waters, then retreat back into my shell. Okay, but let's skip the tiptoeing. Where are we now? I would not want to cock this up. So far, so good, champ. B, 
because I've kept my mouth shut up to now. The thing is, I usually act before I think. Uh-huh, noticed. I know, but I also need impulses to act upon. When I do something spontaneously, I feel I'm being honest. Yet with you, I prefer to play it safe. Why is it any different with me? Because I truly care this time. Yet I fear I'll do or say something foolish and be left alone in the desert. I would rather keep you close. If only as a friend. Try following the impulse next time. Well, in any case, you've been warned. All right, let's rejoin the others. Oh. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. Get your ass down a minute, honey. And breathe. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? acting spooked, as if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, oh, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. He came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. A scorpion. And a Jackie. some sleep. Okay. It'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Grown kind of cold out here. Not true. But this is nice. Catch some shit eye with me.
I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. Is that another area of your expertise? You got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Uh, yeah. You do? Oh dear, that means there's some major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? Let's ride, V. The train's leaving. You'd better move! Okay, let's go! Ready to roll. Sure did. 
Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting from Mitch and Teddy. Lost the Militech channel. The suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. You got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was 10 years old. Seem to still be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again, all you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will, so you'd better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.
V? Got to the bottom of Ebonica. Flicked pings to some contacts. Grayson buzzed familiar for a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found something. Section of the docks that's Maelstrom turf. Meaning you found Grayson? He really got an in with Smasher. Come see me. Afterlife. We'll talk. Okay. Thank you. 